Welcome everyone. In this example, we're going to talk about a ratio and the value of a ratio. The value of a ratio is the number you're going to multiply one part of the ratio by to get the other part. In this example, we want to know which of these four tape diagrams models the number of red gumballs is five-thirds the number of white gumballs. First thing we're going to do is we're going to write the ratio for each of these. In part A, the number of red gumballs to the number of white gumballs is 3 to 5. In part B, the number of red gumballs to the number of white gumballs is 5 to 3. In C, 3 red gumballs for every 2 white gumballs. And in D, we have the ratio of red gumballs to white gumballs is 5 to 8. In order to find the value of a ratio, we're going to find the quotient of the two parts of the ratio. So for part A, we are going to take 3 and divide it by 5. So the value is 3 fifths. 3 divided by 5. In part B, the value is 5 thirds. 5 divided by 3. In part C, the value is 3 halves. In part D, the value is 5 eighths. So now we can see that part B shows the correct ratio that the number of red gumballs is 5 thirds the number of white gumballs. I could take the number of white gumballs, multiply it by 5 thirds, and I would get the number of red gumballs. The value of the ratio is going to be a very important part as we talk about ratios. We want to make sure that we remember how to do this. In this example, we're going to take a look at the value of a ratio again. Remember, the value of the ratio is what happens when you divide the two parts of the ratio. First, we need to write the ratio for this situation. The duration of two films are modeled below. Film A, we have five parts. Film B, we have seven parts. Okay? The duration means how long a movie is. So which one is longer, film A or film B? Because film B has a longer tape diagram and each section of the tape diagram is the same amount, film B is longer. Okay. If we were to write the ratio of film A to film B, we know this is five parts, we know this is seven parts, the ratio to the length of film A we have to do film A first, then to film B is 5 to 7. If we want to find the value of this ratio, the length of film A is 5 sevenths the length of film B. We're going to keep going in order. The numerator is the first part of the ratio, and the denominator is the second part of the ratio. If we took the length of film B, and multiplied it by 5 sevenths, we would get the length of film A. We could write that as an equation. Film A equals 5 sevenths of film B. Now we want to look at it in the other order. The length of film B is blank of the length of film A. Because we have film B first here, we want to put the 7 on the top because in our ratio film B has 7 parts. The length of film A is 5 parts. 7 fifths is greater than 1. So we know that film B is longer than film A. If this is our whole, this is more than a whole. We could write this as an equation. Film B is 7 fifths of film A. If I took the length of film A and multiplied it by 7 fifths, I would get the length of film B. 
Now you know how to find the value of a ratio. Be sure you really understand this process. It's important for what we're going to be doing next. Remember, to find the value of a ratio, you divide the first part of the ratio by the second part. If you change the order of the ratio, then it changes the value of the ratio. Take a look at the video again, do your homework, and I'll see you in class tomorrow. Bye!